In my last video, I punctured a stopped up can of polyurethane foam, also known as Great Stuff Foam, and then cut the top off the can, mostly to show you there is no tube inside. In this video, I'm going to remove the valve, take it apart, and cut it in half in two directions so I can show you why these valves stop up so easy. Depending on the brand, the valve might be white or black. This is the valve. I'm prying it out with a small pry bar. Regardless of the color, it might be this small valve or it might be this large valve. Now I'm splitting the soft rubber outer part of the valve so I can separate it from the hard plastic inner part of the valve. Now I'm splitting the rubber part of the valve in half so I can show you what the inside looks like. Here's the hard plastic inner part of the valve. The smaller valves have three ports instead of four. I'm splitting this valve horizontally right above the ports. Here's what the ports look like. Notice the tapered shape of the ports. Here's the smaller three port valve split horizontally. Now I'm splitting another valve vertically. Here's what the vertically split valve looks like. Here's a shot of the inner and outer parts back together. The reason these valves get stopped up so easy is because it's difficult to clean the ports and the cavities in the valve. Once the poly cures, it plugs the small tapered ports in the valve. The next video is going to be how to keep a valve from getting stopped up. YouTube doesn't allow for changes to a video, so be sure to check the description section for additions, corrections, important user comments, and a donation link. Please share and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.